Hello everyone, thanks for coming to this video where I'm going to show you how to set up New Vegas on uh, higher end systems without having any of the issues that come along with the engine being a little dated and weird. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to download the New Vegas Script Extender, the Fallout New Vegas 4 Gigabyte Patcher, and the New Vegas Tick Fix. So we're going to come in here first and we will download the stable version. Uh, as you can see, I already have it downloaded so I'm not going to grab this here. This isn't a secure site, so if you're security conscious and you want to grab this file directly from Nexus Mod Manager, that is possible as well. Just go ahead and search that up on there uh, of New Vegas Script Extender. And then we will also download the Fallout New Vegas 4 Gigabyte Patcher, uh, which you also do a manual download. There is no Mod Manager option here. So essentially what this does is the Script Extender is the reason that a lot of the mods will work in Fallout New Vegas. And the 4 Gigabyte Patcher, I believe it just increases the RAM that the game is allowed to use, which you know prevents a lot of crashing, especially when it comes uh, to mods, which we're just going to grab just in case because there's no downside. Uh, and the New Vegas tick fix will actually be what stops the game from running quicker and being tied to your FPS. I don't know exactly how it works, uh, but it does a pretty good job. So what we'll do is we will come over here and open our downloads folder, and then we will open our Fallout New Vegas folder directly. If you don't know how to get here, you can uh, come in, right-click on your Fallout New Vegas properties, uh, and then go to the installed files, uh, and then browse to open this up. So. Once you're in here, you will go ahead and double click on the Fallout New Vegas 4 Goodbye Patcher and you will drag the New Vegas patch inside the directory. I already have it. And you will come in here and double click it. You can see mine says already patched. Uh, in your case, it will say that it does patch the game. And then you can close it, double click it, make sure that it says already patched uh, to confirm that it is installed. And then you will open up the New Vegas Script Extender and you will drag or you will double click onto this and you will drag everything but the data and source inside of your direct New Vegas directory and you should be good there. You can unselect these text files if you want, doesn't really matter, they're not that big, not going to make a big difference. Uh, and then anyway, once you do that, you can uh, go ahead and come over to the New Vegas Tick Fix. I would highly recommend using the Mod Manager download here, especially if you're new uh, to modding and you don't want to deal with the file structure, it can be a bit tricky. Uh, just do the Mod Manager, it'll handle it all for you. Pretty self-explanatory setup, make an account, download Vortex. Uh, should be should be good to go. And then once you do that, come back into your Fallout New Vegas and you will see this Fallout default.ini. So once you come in here, you want to hit Control F, type in Control, so we can find the Control section, and then find Next. And I already have these in here, but anyway, uh, these commands will be down in the description. Uh, you're going to want to essentially just, it'll be empty like this, click under B background keyboard, and then paste it. So that way you can or you'll have them in here. And what this does is it basically removes mouse acceleration on menus inside of the game. Uh, anytime you're not actually aiming, uh, there's a ridiculous mouse acceleration in this game by default, and this is how you turn it off. Uh, it's not really a problem. I've never noticed it being a problem when you're actually controlling the character, but it's something that's really annoying with how much you have to menu in a game like this. Uh, and then after that, the last thing you're going to want to do is you are going to want to open the Fallout New Vegas Launcher.exe and click play from here. If you do it directly on the exe instead of the launcher, uh, then it will not save the changes in your Fallout underscore default that I and I for whatever reason. So open it through the launcher first, click play, and then we will come in here and then uh, click a couple times to speed this up. And then once we do that, we will uh, hit the tilt button, which is the button to the left of one, uh, to open up the console. And we will type git nvse version, and it should say five. And that'll be how you know that the mods are loaded and everything is working correctly. So if it says five here, you are good to go. Uh, so just a, a few comments. Uh, one thing I have noticed is that the New Vegas tick fix seems to not fix the game engine speeding up inside of certain buildings. It's like houses and smaller buildings, so if you notice that, that's expected. I haven't noticed it happening in like pretty much any places where combat is something you have to worry about, uh, so it hasn't really been a big deal for me. Conversations themselves aren't sped up. It's just like the actions that happen inside of the house, so that's fine. Uh, and then, yeah, if you want to make any changes to the uh, New Vegas tick fix. You can uh, come into Fallout New Vegas data, NVC plugins, and then there is an nvtf.ini. And there's a couple changes you can make in here. There's descriptions next to them on what they do. But essentially for now, the only one I would worry about changing is the FPS fix. I would keep the five on minimum, uh, but for the max FPS, I would just set this uh, top FPS to whatever your monitor's FPS is. This isn't a competitive shooter. We don't need to go cr crazy high. I have a 165 FPS monitor, so it's set to 165. That works for me. Not a big deal. Anyway, thanks for checking out this video. Have a great time playing New Vegas.